It is finally a movie theater day or game room day, spare room, whatever you want to call it. It's mainly going to be a movie theater room. So Chase found these chairs on Craigslist and I need to clean them up. So I'm going to get a cleaning mixture and clean those. I've got all this stuff from decorating. I need to organize these cabinets here. We have pictures to hang, a TV to hang, a mattress to remove. <laughs> but the very first thing I wanna do are get these chairs clean, because like I said, they've been in someone else's house and then they've been in storage for a couple months, so I want to work on them first. To clean the chairs, um, to clean a lot of things, I like to use just hot water and um, powdered Tide. So I'm in here in my laundry room. This is just like our car wash bucket, but it's pretty big. So I'm just gonna fill up with hot water. I'm gonna add some powdered Tide and then just use like a cleaning cloth to wipe them all down. I have my mixture ready. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell on camera, but it is just like when you're up close. I mean, they've been used before, so that's why. Um, so I just wanna get them clean, but all of them have just kinda like got stuff on them and this mixture will clean it up super easy. Wait until the sun goes down, that's when I can let it out. You can call me crazy, I call it fade. Transformation taking over me. I wanted to show you the water up close. That is why I clean things. Like I love buying stuff used and off Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, but things are dirty. Or even if you just haven't cleaned your stuff in a while. Like I said, I love just mixing that Tide and hot water powder Tide um, because it really does clean. Look how gross that is. I do wanna thank Walmart for sponsoring today's video. I found some amazing pieces on Walmart. If you haven't checked out their site lately, do it. I'm gonna have the link down below. This first piece actually isn't for the movie room, but when I saw it, I knew I had to grab it. It was so simple, it had no color. I loved that the woods like matched the woods in our home, and I loved that it said this is our happy place because this has truly become our most favorite happy place to be. So I'll show where I'm gonna put that here in a second. But Pillows. I feel like I've had the hardest time finding nice pillows lately for our house that are very like organic and just look high end but are still affordable um, and these are amazing so definitely check out their pillows soon but this was the main thing that I got on their site for. I don't know if you can even tell how big these are like let me grab my soap bottle. They're two gallons is what they are but I thought they would be perfect for our movie room. I want to put like bags of chips and pretzels and things in them across the bar so you're gonna see me decorate with these like later in the video when I'm tweaking everything but they're massive but they do come in different sizes like I use these everywhere in my house you can see back here I've had those for years and I have like sugar and brown sugar and flour out in my cabinets and I also have them in my laundry room so I'm gonna take you in there real quick so in here in my laundry room I just have like powdered detergent pods these are scent boosters whether you use these items or not, I do. I use all these so it functions, but if you wanted to do this just to decorate, it would last forever. Just buy what you need, put it in there. I also have one over here for just like dog treats. They look so nice in your home and you can use them so many different places and they are like so stinking affordable, it's not even funny. So if you don't have any of these in your house, like grab them immediately on Walmart. I also wanted to show you these two pieces. I bought these for the 4th of July and I loved having them to host with. They're perfect out here in my house cause like they match my house and look very high end, but it's gonna be perfect in our movie room as well cause we host a lot in there. Like I can fill this up with ice and put drinks in it. Um, this is so good for paper plates and I put like utensils in here, napkins. I can use it so many 
different ways. I still can't believe when I see all of these products like displayed like this together. I got them on Walmart. They just look so high end, but they're so affordable and they're so functional too. So thanks again to Walmart for sponsoring this part of today's video. Don't forget, I'm gonna be decorating with all of this later once I get to that portion. But real quickly, I am gonna go put this up because I wanna see how it looks. And just like I thought, it is perfect. I love that it has a little saying up there. I love that it brings in our white oak a little higher, but I love that it doesn't compete with everything else. So once again, thank you to Walmart for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna have all the links to everything I bought, plus the link to their site. So definitely check them out, especially if you're decorating and a fashion, they have been on point lately too. So check them out for that as well. I think in this cabinet, I'm gonna make it kind of extra home decor, just like small pieces that I switch out. I always like having that. So I'll have Cricut, home decor, games, and then this is just gonna be like random, kind of like a junk drawer type area down there. But I think this might be good just for like extra candles and, you know, bookends, stuff like that. Okay, so now we're to the part we've got to figure out where we need it on this wall and it gets hard because we don't want it too tall. We don't want it too low. We have to find studs. <laughs> it gets a little complicated. This room's a mess, so it'll be nice when I start figuring out what we're gonna do in here, but look at Tiger. I always show you guys, like if there's a pile of blankets or pillows, he goes to the top of it, sweet. And then George is down here being itchy, <laughs> like normal. So I was just in the living room. He, we're watering our sod right now. So everything's wet and muddy and George had it on his paws and like my white rug in my living room, which was a stretch. I probably should have known not to put a white rug in the living room, but um, it had mud all over it from last night. <laughs> so I've been hand scrubbing it. But now we're gonna focus on this room. I'm so over cardboard. I'm so over styrofoam. I'm over plastic. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know, I think I'm hitting my breaking point and I'm just ready to like everything to be done. We've done so well, we've moved so quickly. We just have this space and the guest bedroom space. And then it's just like little tweaks, like accent walls and just personalizing the house, but we'll take a few months off before we start that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just ready to like stop seeing trash everywhere <laughs> and boxes. What about you? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> it has to get through it. Yeah, we're so close. We're close. Come take my hand. We just noticed the chairs were a little off because most of them are ending with this like small arm and this end was ending with a big arm. So we think we just have to like flop these two or flip them to make it work. Yeah, and then the big ones are in the middle. Okay. Perfect. It's like a puzzle getting them all together. <laughs> and then we're trying to get them lined up the best we can with the TV, but also giving us enough walk room here because We've got plenty over there, so I'd rather like them be like lean a little heavy to the right than the left, so we have more space right here when you come in. Yes, 
as he finishes setting up the TV, I'm gonna start like cleaning up and clearing out so we can start decorating. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do with this wall. I thought about doing like all of our glass prints up there, but I just don't think it's gonna be the right like <laughs> room or space for it. And then I have to figure out what pillows I'm using and then clear this out. So basically I just need to start like tidying up in here. Okay, so I kept trying to turn it on with the remote and I even put the batteries in. I made sure I put the batteries the right way and it still wasn't turning on. And I left to go get lunch and I came back and Chase was like, I figured it out. But look, here on the TV, they put the TV together. Let's see if I can get this to focus. And this little piece should be plugged in inside the TV and I guarantee you that's like the sensor for the remote. So what we're gonna try to do first is take it down, which isn't fun because it's heavy and I'm probably not a full partner <laughs> that should be helping. Um, he's gonna take the TV apart, try to plug it in, put it back together, and see if it works just so we don't have to return it. What would you do? Would you try to fix it or would you just return it? Mind you, this like barely fits in my SUV. And like the box is shredded now. And the box is shredded, um, and it's huge. So we're just gonna try to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just kind of how this move's gone this whole time. I feel yeah. like we've tried to stay positive, but we're slowly losing it. Just we gotta it. find uh, room to lay it flat too. Yeah. So take it apart. So maybe back there. Back we'll here in the corner. Yeah. Okay. I was decorating. I thought we were almost done. We're back to the TV. <laughs> He fixed that, well, he oh, plugged it in, in in like less than 10 minutes. So let's see if it worked. Ah, it's, working. It oh. it's working. We didn't have to return it. That's good. I didn't have to duct tape a box back together. <laughs> it was just unplugged somehow. That's so weird. Yeah. We're the ones that get the TVs and whatever it is, whatever you're buying, we're the ones that get the broken ones and have to fix it always. What's just, crazy is it had to come unplugged and then squeeze through a crack at the bottom of the TV. Like it had to have split and push through there at some point. I don't know how that happened. I'm sure we got it that way. We just didn't notice when we were hanging it. All right, so we're good to go. I have to hang it one more time and try not to break it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Done. It's back up. The remote works. I didn't break it. <laughs> I was scared. I didn't drop time. it. Oh, I thought it was going to take you forever to fix that. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Okay, that wasn't bad. Crisis diverted. Okay. Now we're going to carry on. I don't know what to do with this space. I've got to get on Pinterest. Um, yeah, I'll start clearing stuff out. Like once Chase gets all his tools out of here, I'm going to like kind of clean up. I mean, I figured I like the pillows in here. I want to make it like a cozy movie room, not like a... We thought about painting the walls black and all that in here and I just, we just didn't. <laughs> um, but I've got to figure out something to do like back here. Searching for active input. I want to do something, yeah. We'll probably get like, I think it'd be fun to have like a popcorn machine. I don't know, some fun stuff here. I just, 
I think we've been doing so much. This is the room I haven't thought about. So once we clear everything out, then I'll see what we can do. Okay, it's looking a lot better now. You can see like right here, I have everything tucked in. I'm gonna go ahead and have him hang curtains, which actually is gonna solve our problem down there because it'll be like behind the curtain. So that one's a win. You don't see that plugged in because that's like all of that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this corner yet. Um, like it's slowly getting. We got the blinds hung. We're still gonna have to get blackout shades behind it, but I just feel like it makes it so cozy and grand in here with those up. You're my music, but you tear me to pieces. So where does it come from? Seeing that keeps playing on repeat, ignores the rule of thumb. Oh, where does it come from? Oh, where does it come from? All your emotions with your heart on your sleeve, it won't fade until you paint it black. I let it burn your call the fire brigade, but I feel that it will come back. Oh, where does it come from? Oh, It's a different day. Dance Moms is still on. She paused it for me, so I won't get copyrighted. <laughs> but the prints are in, so I'm gonna put them in the posters um, or in the frames, and then I'm gonna have Chase hang them. Um, we have lights to put around the TV. Tomorrow, black curtains come in, and then we are almost done with this space. I'm gonna go ahead and take you in and let you see how it's looking so far with the lights on and then I'll show you how we turn it into like a movie room theater like fun vibe at night. 
um, but here are the posters. I feel like they look so good. TV hung, chairs. I'm really excited. <laughs> Chase found these chairs. I think it was like Facebook Marketplace. Um, back here, we are going to eventually do something. I feel like I want to do some type of like, not stage, but like loft. So build it up and either add chairs or a cool day bed, just where like kids or teenagers could come set up here if adults have this all full, like when we have everybody over. Um, but right here, you can kind of see more of the view. I wish you came in from this side because I feel like it's a cooler view to, to walk into versus that side. But once you're in, it looks super cool. Chase got the lights put around the TV, so I'll show you that here in a second. I'll turn the lights off. Um, but there, you can see them right there. And then we have her galaxy light over there. We have the whole candy bar, which I thought turned out really nice. There's one other thing she's wanting to like hang on this side. We just haven't found, I forgot what it is. These turned out really nice. Popcorn machine, the galaxy lights right there. But then here's another view. So, like I said, tomorrow we're getting the black curtains that are supposed to come in. So, I'll switch those out and do one more major tour. But I just kind of wanted to update you with how it's going. So, let me turn all the lights off and turn all the cool lights on. <laughs> and I can show you the vibe we have at night, which I love. So, it's still a little bright in here because of the white curtains. Um, so, like, the galaxy light isn't coming all the way through. It actually looks better on camera. So, there's different settings for the TV. Obviously, while we're watching a movie, I couldn't handle it changing that much. But I just thought it would be fun to show you all the colors that come up. Um, so, this just really sets the vibe. I think it's cool. Once again, tomorrow when the black curtains get in, I'll show us hanging them. And then I'll show you what it really looks like when it's, like, blacked out. I may even jump on here in a little bit when the sun goes down all the way. But isn't this so much fun? Savvy's been swimming, so she's about to get in the shower. They just got home from a golf cart ride. And then we're going to come in here and watch a movie. Um, have a little movie night in here, which has been fun. It's typically dance moms, but Chase was like, not tonight. We're doing something. <laughs> we're, we're doing something um, better than dance moms. So we're going to watch a movie. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like. Okay, so it is the next day and the curtains were delivered. So they come in a two pack. So I grabbed two of them. Um, they're a little longer. They're two inches longer than our last ones. But the last ones are hanging from hooks. I don't know if I'm going to use those yet. Once I open these up, we'll figure it out, but it's going to be really nice to black out that room. So I only did four instead of six, like the white ones. The white ones were more narrow. These are wider. So I'm hoping this will be enough to have like two on each side, but let's get them open and see how they work. I can't remember when I ordered these, which was only a couple days ago, if I knew they were like a velvet. They're like perfect for a movie theater room. Plus they're going to help keep all the heat out, but they're super nice. So I think I'm just going to hang them by these hooks with the rod. I like the like ruffle effect, but I can't have any extra length because these are already a little bit longer than the other ones. So I'm going to try just putting them onto the rod that way. I have to go grab Chase. I don't know if there's multiple ways to hang these. Yeah, so you can slide it through this where it like ruffles all the way across, but I'm not a fan of like the ruffle at the top. Or you can put it through this loop, which is kind of more my style. So that's the way um, I'm going to use these. The black is gonna be so much better. You can tell like it blocks 100% of the light. <laughs> Whereas the white I love, it's beautiful, it's airy, it's good for all those other rooms, but for a movie theater room, the black's perfect. I think it's gonna help it look more like a movie room. I debated like painting this room like a black or a charcoal. I just never got brave enough. <laughs> so I feel like this was an easier way to do it. And I'm glad now that we have black curtains and we have like the black furniture and the black TV. I think it would have been too much. But right there, you can just see the big difference. I can't wait to see it finished. And then we'll turn all the lights on, the movie lights on, and see how it looks during the day. It 
if you are in the market for blackout curtains, this is the way to go. It is, let me look at my watch, 2.30 in the afternoon. Like, let me open up this door. Like, it is bright outside. That's even with frosted glass. <laughs> and look how dark it is in this room, and that's with all these lights on. But look at this. Like, there's not a light on out there. That's all the sunlight shining in. And it is so dark in here. Super excited about those. Glad we made the switch. Let me turn the light on so you guys can see what it looks like. Just like normal. Now, something I need to work on that's not going to happen in this video is this area back here. I'm like dreaming up all sorts of things. Um, I'm trying to see if we can shift like this up just a few inches and like this up and just add three more chairs i'd have to get a different style because these curve so they take up more space but i found some that didn't curve as much like see how big these armrests are they're like smaller kind of more like this size all the way across so i can get three more chairs to fit back here it's just when they fully recline it might be tough now if we are reclined they'll fit no problem. And so I'm just trying to think of like when my family's in, all of these chairs will be taken and then Savannah and my two nieces could be back there. So I don't know if I'll like build this up and just do like a black leather sofa that reclines or just a sofa. If I'm gonna try to find chairs, it's definitely like on the list. It's just not gonna happen before this video is done. Um, but I'm really happy with how it's turned out so far. Off camera, I tweaked this a little bit because I really like the popcorn machine down there better. And I feel like this needs to be centered so you can like see everything. And then that's why I grabbed four of those Walmart containers that I talked about earlier. I feel like two on each side will be perfect. And then I'll just fill them up with snacks. Everything is looking so good. One thing I didn't get to film, it happened so quickly, <laughs> um, is we found this off um, Facebook Marketplace. Um, I was looking kind of for chairs and who knew black leather was so hard to find now. We went into every shopping place you can imagine and they don't sell black leather anymore. Or if they do, it's like a chair like this and they're like, 2000 a piece or 1500 and I was not going to do that because I needed three back here um, And so I started looking marketplace. I've been looking for a while Finally found it. It's so cool. It like lights up it reclines This like folds up and has a light and folds down. I'll show it here in a second But that is why I got three of these so they're all on the middle cushions but that way now, like when my family comes for Christmas, um, we can all fit in here. So like all three of my nieces can be back there. Me, my mom, and my sister can be here. And then my dad, Chase, and my brother-in-law. And we can all watch like Christmas movies together. I can already picture it. A tree's going right there just in case you're wondering. But this room's definitely coming together. This time I have all the recliners pulled out. <laughs> I will say it may be a smidgen of a tight squeeze when you actually like push on them and lay back because like you can actually like lay back in these. So it's going to push these out longer and this is going to go back, but it works. We've tested it. <laughs> like I said, we may get all a little snuggly in here, but it's going to be so fun to have. But that's how everything looks. I think this is the most like favorite spot. I thought back row, I honestly thought whatever we put back here, it's not gonna get used unless the entire family's in town. Like, of course, everyone's gonna use these. This is just a bonus. This has been the favorite spot. <laughs> this is right where Savannah goes. I find myself coming here too, um, just cause it's got like extra cup holders and we can charge our phones right there and it's got a pocket to keep stuff in, which, I will say there's so much storage like in every armrest on all of these they open. So we have so much storage. I have nothing in them 
other than if you don't finish a snack I'm like Chase just put it in your chair so someone else won't eat it <laughs> so we just tuck it away but I seriously love this room you guys will have to let me know what you guys think but thank you so much for being here I hope you enjoyed today's video um, don't forget um, I have Walmart's link down below so check them out and thanks again to them for sponsoring this video but I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one bye